All right, guys, welcome back. We're gonna do a full look over on this Trek Rail 9.9. .9. As you know, the 9 series in Trek comes as a carbon fiber frame, and the 0.9 means it is the highest end spec they make. So this one was built from the ground up Project One style. They kind of do some prefab Project One, so it wasn't fully customized, but you do get a variety of color choices to choose from with the option of changing them. This one is the dark prism black, which is really nice looking. It is this very dark gray color, but it is very metallic looking. So when light really hits this, it will shine and show up very sparkly but in a really cool way. Not as like color changing as, you know, a two-tone color, but it really changes and lights up very vibrantly in a bright sunlight with the lower half being black and the two-tone lettering. So it's a lot going on, but it's a very clean basic bike. With this model, it is the SRAM Axis model all over. So this comes with the SRAM Axis controller for the rear derailleur, which is an XX1. And this is the upgraded paddle shifter. So instead of it being a standard clam rocker shell, it actually switches the kind of setup to look more like an original shifting unit. So you have to move your thumb from kind of one side to the other instead of rocking it up and down. We've seen a few people switch to this because they just prefer the feel. It's a bit more natural to what you used to coming from years of mountain biking. If you're new in the game, the rocker might just be pretty easy because it's up and down for shifting. Whereas this one is more left and right, kind of underside, overside shifting. It as well comes with the RockShock Axis dropper post. So the batteries are interchangeable between the two. You are able to switch. If you run out of battery in your shifter, you always have a backup kind of on the fly on the dropper post, which is a little less important if it's stuck up or stuck down. So we have had feedback that the battery life on the Axis batteries is actually pretty good. You do have an app to follow up with, so before you ride, you can check that data out and find out how charged it is, just in case you've not paid attention in a while. With apps, you also get access to the tire pressure and shock and fork pressure all through the tire and air whiz setup, which is also from SRAM. This literally is two sensors on the front and rear wheel, which will tell you your optimal tire pressure, whether it's too low to go for a ride or potentially too hard. On the tire whiz itself, it does have an indicator light with red, flashing red and green, telling you whether it's good, okay, or bad to ride. So you don't even need to pull out the app, but you'll know before you ride, your bike tire pressure is good. A little better than just giving it a squeeze and testing. So that's one next level thing. Other options on this bike is that air shock whiz. So this on the fork, on the far side, and on the shock you you also get air pressure monitoring so again you're going to be making sure that you're always out riding in the optimal setup that you want to be in these things do change and a lot of the times we kind of set it and forget it and assume that everything's all right this is going to ensure it's going to be perfect for you every time if you're putting long hours in these and putting it through its paces it is going to need checking and this is just one extra thing that you can open an app to check everything batteries sensors, pressures, all over in one app. With this being the 9.9 .9 model, again, you are carbon fiber wheels, handlebars, and frame. So overall, this is a relatively lightweight bike for a 750 watt hour battery in there. It's gonna perform really well. Those wheels are extremely durable, very stiff. So when you're hammering heavy corners down a mountain or on a more aggressive trail, they're really gonna hold up instead of flexing and losing power or potentially damaging things. They're gonna hold that shape a lot more true and be more impact resistant on bigger rocks, impacts, and et cetera like that. This does come with a Bosch CX Smart system. So that comes with a Bluetooth remote which controls the actual battery and electric system itself. You do get minor indicators on there based on your battery levels and what mode you're on. You do get this now new out of the way controller so you're able to see your range and all the standard details you'd ever get on a mountain bike. Odometer, trip distance, speed, average speed, like it can tell you a ton of stuff on the fly, but sometimes when you're going down the hill, you just need to know which mode you're in so you can get up the next hill most efficiently. And that's what the smart controller does. As well, it gives you options to switch back and forth between other modes and pages 
on that smart screen. The tires they've paired with this one are the SE6. So this is Trex Enduro Ready tire. Having a heavy duty tire now offers no downsize. This has the Zeb front fork. So on top of the shock width and tire width, so on top of the air pressure whiz you'll get on this, you also get an insane amount of customizability to it, all regarding the high speed compression, low speed compression, rebound, all that can be controlled on the fly with just a little dial here. Trek does have a great website to set it up beginning, but you can obviously adjust these very quickly if you want it to be a little softer, a little faster reacting, while you're going down a different trail or terrain. It's very easy to do and it's very noticeable with just two or three clicks to add or remove performance features, whichever way around you wanna look at it. In the rear end, you obviously have the RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate. So this is gonna be the most effective fork, the most effective shock you can get back here. 160 mils on the front and 150 on the rear. So it's big and beefy, but neither of them are so overkill that if you just rolled around town or were doing a lot of climbing, it's not gonna do it. This is gonna climb like a beast on top of the fact that you have an electric system backing you up. That Bosch performance line is the same it's been. No real changes to it, except they did increase the battery size, like I said. You get a huge amount of torque, and being that it's a smart system now, you're actually able to control the torque levels more customized. So you'll be able to set it that it kicks in at a certain amount of effort, or kicks in at a little amount of effort, and then how much it kicks in too. So you might want it to kick in fast, but not much effort. It's a little complicated, but the app makes it really basic for you to understand whether you want max amount of power and when you want that max amount of power, or a minimum amount of power when you want that minimum amount of power, and everything's customizable through the app. Overall geometry of the bike is comfortable. It is a trail bike, so you do get this even set weight across the whole bike, front end pressure, so you're able to control it and ride very easily through trails and more technical sections. There is a slack geometry to it, but it's not too slack that it's interfering with controllability while climbing or anything like that. You also do get the minnow link adjustment in the rear end, so you're able to really dial in whether you're in climbing mode or downhill mode to make it easier for either of those features. Obviously, this one has got all the pairings, carbon fiber cranks with the crank booties on it just to protect. And they do not come with pedals, but we've paired them with the DMR Volt mag pedals. So these are a magnesium pedal. They are insanely lightweight and they are nicely priced at $385, I believe it is. So about 350 American dollars for a set of high-end flat lightweight pedals. But I mean, even on the bike, they feel lightweight. It is a noticeable efficiency to this pedal. It's not just that kind of $60 to $140 pedal jump. This is definitely four times more noticeable of a pedal performance, which is hard to say about most pedals, let's be honest. Overall, the Trek Reel 9.9 .9 is gonna be for someone who appreciates mountain biking, enjoys it and uses it, but maybe wants to get more trail riding in on a shorter time frame, or wants to go more often with less downtime. Everything you can do on a regular bike, you can do better on this bike. You can still get the same workout, but instead of doing a two hour ride session and only going, let's say, 25 kilometers, you're gonna do 35 or 45 kilometers just because of that electric system. With the huge battery that they've managed to jam in here, you're gonna get a huge rain on eco mode. You are gonna go close to 150 kilometers. On turbo mode, you're now up to 70-ish kilometers. And obviously this is super variable depending on what you're using, how much effort you're putting in, all those features, but you kinda of don't need to worry anymore. This is gonna outlast for the most part everybody's ride days, you'll probably be bored before you run out of battery. So this is about 18,300 Canadian dollars. So you are up there in the world of mountain bikes. This is now becoming more of a recreational vehicle as I say to it. It is a, a new category of bike. $18,000 used to be top end race bikes with like the ridiculous finishings on it. This one comes with most of the ridiculous finishings on it, but you could make it better still. A lot of it is, you know, $3,000 worth of electric system, which is fantastic operating. And the people who are looking for this bike are gonna appreciate everything that's put into that Bosch Smart system. The tire pressure monitors, the shock and fork monitors, and all the electronic wireless shifting and seat post. It's packed with tech, it's 
packed with features and it's gonna work for pretty much anyone who uses it. Whether you're a really techie guy or not, you don't need to interact with a lot of this. A lot of it will just kind of run on its own. And if you see red lights, you know there's something up and you can take it to your bike shop to get fixed up or tested or just adjusted the way you need it done. This is definitely one of the higher end bikes we've got on this channel, but we have more coming actually. Another electric bike we're hoping to finish off with some part swaps. So this is pretty much stock except the pedals. We're getting one where we're a little bit more money stock and we're hoping to bump it up over that 20,000 Canadian dollar mark. So keep an eye out for that. Comment below if you think this is getting ridiculous. I don't, honestly. People are spending much more than this on a side-by-side -side razor to just ride around and get no exercise. This, you still get to get a ton of exercise, ton of trail riding, and it's gonna be a blast. And it's definitely better for the environment in that sake. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, dislike if you hated this video, dislike if you think it's too much, or like if uh, you just feel like it. Thanks guys.